once the centre pieces are all done, the goal is to bring matching edge pieces together. I'll show you the move I used to do this. Well, the effect of it will be this red and green piece will be moved over to here. As you can see, it belongs there. The green and orange piece will come down to here, where it belongs. This green and red piece goes over here. doesn't belong there, but you can't have everything. And this green and black piece will come back where the original green and red piece was. So, that's all very good. Now, the first step is, I'll bring these two sides 180 degrees, so they're down on the bottom, and then I'll turn the bottom face 90 degrees that way. So then I begin. First of all, that goes there, this goes around 180 degrees, then 90 degrees there again, this goes 180 degrees, that goes another 90, then 180 degrees on the top face, 90 degrees there, then 180 degrees on the top face, and finally one more 90 degrees. Now the center pieces look like they haven't changed, but actually some of the bits of the same color will have moved around. And as for the edge bits I wanted to move, you can see the black and green is there, the black and red is there, the other bits are on the bottom, but they're exactly where I want them. A very similar sequence of moves can fix up the outer edge pieces. So, I'm going to move this orange and yellow piece here where it belongs. This orange and blue piece will move here. This red and blue piece will move here. And this red and yellow piece will move here. So, as before, the side, piece, the side faces get turned 180 degrees. Then this bottom face gets turned 90 degrees in this direction. And then I begin. But instead of moving three slices, I'll just move two slices this time. 90 degrees. Then the top goes all the way around. 90 degrees. The top goes all the way around. 90 degrees. The top goes all the way around. 90 degrees. The top goes all the way around. And 90 degrees. And as you can see, Everything's just the way I said it would be. Now here's the situation. I've just got two more of these edge pieces left out of place, and they need to be swapped. So, it's not a real problem. The first thing I'll do is I'll just do the move again. This will go here, and unfortunately it's going to mess up two of the pieces that I've got solved. So... Let's do it anyway. Now, there'll be three pieces out of place. And there's another move I can use to swap them around. So here, the orange and green one needs to be here. The green and red one needs to be here. The orange and yellow one needs to be here. So you've, you'll have seen a move like this before in this video. First I move that piece down and out of the way. Then the place where I want it to be, I'll bring that down and the piece can go into its slot. Now I've just knocked that piece out. So the place I want the red, and blue, the red and green piece to be, I'll bring that down and the red and green piece can go into it. And back up. And finally, the last piece, the third piece, that I want to be in position, I'll put it in position. And finally, all of the edge pieces match their neighbours and all the centre pieces are done. This cube is now... Instead of being 7x7x7, seven by seven by seven, it's an ordinary 3x3x3 three by three by three cube. And if you can solve a 3x3x3 three by three by three cube, you can solve this now. Here I go. Done.
done. Isn't that great?